Hello, JD here and welcome to my jungle. This is the first video in a new series called Morning Rituals. Morning Rituals are critical to personal development and growth as well as plant health management. We want to take a look at our plants every day and listen to what their needs might be. So today we're going to be taking a look at this Marble Queen Pothos. I rescued this pothos from my local Lowe's, and like most of the plants that I rescued from the Lowe's, needed a little TLC. So specifically, this one was showing signs of spider mite damage. So after a treatment of neem oil and some isolation, she's ready to go for a new pot. I'll be repotting her today in this wonderfully square jar. And this jar, like most of my plantings, is a closed bottom. People ask me how I'm able to plant in a closed bottom, and I'll show you. I create a water reservoir using a perlite and hardwood charcoal mixture. What this does is this holds the water, but keeps ugly or gross bacteria from growing in that water, which would ultimately make the plant ill. I'll be replanting in my special blend potting soil called Holistaterra. This features 14 different elements, the most important of which are live. Mycorrhizal fungi and bacteria help to facilitate the breakdown of some of the organic elements, bringing more nutrients to the plant and keeping the soil structure from compacting. So let's take a look. She's beautiful. Now, as you can see, the roots are starting to coil here at the bottom. Not quite root bound, but ready to be freed from that planting. I often find that plants from Lowe's are overplanted. Um, that's good for your value, but that means you have to replant them pretty quickly. So I'm just breaking up the roots here. Here I've got two individual plants. Just breaking off like that. These plants are vines, and they will jump out of their pot. However, they do want less competition in that pot. Well, look at the baby. So here's two individual plants here. Spider mites can also be an issue when you've got an overcrowded pot as well. Lots of places for them to hide. When you are dealing with spider mites, you want to give your plant a good rinsing on the leaves, making sure that you don't soak the roots too much. And then after you've thoroughly cleaned your leaves, you'll want to give a good spray of neem oil. Then you want to repeat that process until you really stop seeing signs. Um, I do it once a week, and overall, seems to curb them. Isolation is key. Okay, now that we've freed our Marble Queen, we're going to take our perlite and hardwood charcoal mixture, and I'm going to create a reservoir of about an inch to an inch and a half in the bottom of this jar. What that's going to do is it's going to hold all of our excess water, keeping it available for our plant, keeping the humidity level in the soil regulated so that it doesn't dry out at the bottom while it stays wet at the top, which can really hurt the plant and keeps the water from cycling appropriately. So I will take a little bit of our Holistatera. I'm going to put it to maybe a little halfway there. Now that I've got a baseline of soil in there, I'm going to take my largest. Woo! Look how many leaves are on that one. All right. I believe in the power of three. Three is such a magic number. So I'm going to take three of my largest cuttings here. This is really what this, these are. These are rooted cuttings. And I'm going to plant them together. And the reason I'm only choosing three is these three are going to get rather large. 
rather quickly. And I don't want them over competing with maybe a little baby, right? The little baby might not make it. So we're taking the three largest, putting them in this jar. Now what I'm doing here is I've filled my soil line up and I'm sort of just rearranging them so that everybody gets some light. Everybody needs some light here. And I think I will take a little baby and put them in the center. Somebody that's going to grow up slowly. So maybe this one. That's a wonderful one. So I'll fill more soil in here. So that we've got a good covering. And so that all of these stand up on their own. I'm lightly pressing the soil down. Ultimately, the water will take care of a lot of that, but this helps to tell the plant where it can rest firmly. Okay, Marble Queen Pothos had got an upgrade. Let's see where my spray bottle is. Eleven. Last but not least, some spray. The reason I use a spray bottle like this is because when you sort of pour water on top of it, that's going to compact your soil. You want a mist. Think about the grocery store and how they keep all their all their vegetables wet and perky. It's just a light mist, right? This is just filtered water. Now I've got my Marble Queen ready for market. I'll be at the Auburn Solarium on Friday the 23rd, Saturday the 24th, and Sunday the 25th. So if you want to come down and check out this Marble Queen Pothos, come visit me in Auburn. Thanks for watching, and be sure to share.